Now let's understand what is income management. Income management is the planned and controlled use of the family income. The income needs to be spent in a way that money is available for expenditure throughout the month. This process of distributing money over various items of expenditure is called income management. Process of income management. Planning the use of family income is the one step and controlling the use of family income. Maintaining a record of income and expenditure. One simple way to have control could be to maintain a record of the income and daily expenditure of your family. Now income and expenditure can be recorded as explained in this table. We have to record the date, the income, total income, item to be purchased, quantity of the item to be purchased, the rate, amount spent in rupees and total balance in rupees. Advantages of maintaining record. It helps to understand your expenses to know exactly how much is being spent on what like on clothing, on home, on food, on uh, entertainment, travel, etc. Compare the expenditures of different months. If your expenses for this month are higher than last month, you will know exactly where and why you have spent more. One must check unnecessary spending. A look at the balance figure will remind you to spend only on what is really needed by your family. One should remove the unnecessary expenditure. We need to plan for the future. Regular maintenance of accounts makes it easier to know how much money would be required for the various items in the future. Be well informed of market trends. The rate column shows you when and how prices rise in the market. Different ways of supplementing income. One can adopt any income generating activity like while working in a jute industry or through farming or take a part time job in neighborhood like selling newspaper or teaching in a school. Investing savings to earn interest make wise use of available resources. Savings and investments. Money from the present income that is put aside for emergency or future use is known as savings. Need for saving. We need saving for a secure future, for meeting emergencies, for fulfillment of family goals, to raise the family standard of living, for starting a small business or for self-employment. Guidelines for saving. Have a realistic saving plan. Have a regular saving plan. Be clear about the purpose for saving.